I spent a lot of time breaking down. Um, Paul's works are very more complicated, actually, than Jesus. It's true. Um, and I understand why, too. From my own observation, because of the deceit. And, of course, to reflect and... Because we can discern Paul's writings. None of these churches has ever discerned Paul's writings. Period. They all pervert them. All of them. Okay? So, now, um, Paul, James comes in and he's just like, not by, um, um, I'll show, I'll, I'll show you my works by my faith. Hold on, I say this. Um, you show me, some will say, I sh I'll show me, uh, some will say I have works, uh, I have faith and I have works. This is a misinterpretation of Paul's. Yes, I am the only one. I'm not arrogant to sit there and claim. Yes, I'm the only one that's basically interpreted Paul's um, explanation because he was basically, mir he was mirroring the confusion deception to have it, because so people, the, the common person cannot interpret Paul. They cannot. So, um, yeah, I am the only one who can. So, when it goes, like, through the gifts and things like that, um, you know, you say, you know, this person has, um, tongues, this person has interpretation. da 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 And, um, I basically even went up to a couple of people and I said, <clears throat> why do you think, then, that Paul, that Paul said, um, that I desired you all to prophecy? So I said to Frank Apollo, like, in the beginning when I started going to church, they probably, because they were sitting there talking about gifts and stuff like that, I would have really, really claimed to be into it and had no understanding of it. Didn't express spiritual gifts or whatever. They are very big deceivers, like the Corinth church. So I, I, I had them just think. That was my whole, I started doing that, actually started doing that near the end of going to this church, just asking questions to have people think. You know, um, uh, that, that was just something new that developed, um, well, like near the end of me attending this church. Um, and I only did it a few times. And, um, so I, I kind of walked out <laughs> with that. Um, and that kind of grew and developed or whatever. And I just, it, it just, you know, started happening. And, um, and using it more and more and more. So, um, that was new. And, um, yeah, not like this. I mean, this guy, I guess, um, does ask questions. Not like that. And by the same spirit. Very arrogantly or whatever. Or deceptively. But, anyway, so, so James, he goes on and he says, Sh it sounds like he's conflicting against Paul. And it's just like, you know, not by, um... Show me your uh, faith and I'll show you um, my faith by my works. And it seems like it's like, and like, it is in a different order. But it's in no way in conflict against Paul whatsoever. And I was about to, I was like, somebody's getting eliminated here. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I meditated, like, I actually meditated on this this book and these um, passages for a very long... I did a five-year project breaking down Paul's writings, uh, meditating on them, and, you know, because it was just like, all I gotta sit there and say, it's just like, I'll sit there, yes, I will overrule Paul if he's a false minister, and I will find out, and I will sit there and speak against him, but I cannot... And we meet. We meet in the same spirit. And I basically did grow in basically challenging the writings of Paul. Um, and that's what happens. That's where I basically get my proverb. Um, and it is reflective off of, of, of I guess, uh, where they're doing, when they're sitting there claiming challenge or whatever. But it's not the same spirit. I mean, people use that word, you know, in many different things or whatever. I, I didn't particularly do that um but it changed and um you know and but you know there's a priority and it's just like and I use an everyday life simplicity because I I've taught people to say in simple you don't have to know all these things 
but what is in front of you or whatever and I, and I wrote this proverb and it's just like knowledge grows but there's a need to co overcome a challenge okay and and it's just like in your everyday life and it could be like you know just learning thing what's things that are in front of you and things like that or whatever and it's simple and because people get overwhelmed and it's just like you know and I've taught many things like with intelligence and I've taught people to appreciate their intelligence of like you know oh, you're really smart it's like well you have it too it's like you have different this you have a lot of things that I don't know you know and it's just like you know it's just an interest or whatever and um and things like that so you have to stay humble with that and um yes I will get um appearingly arrogant over people who are arrogant over me in their sins oh. I'm sorry I had a peanut stuck on my tooth I'm just like came out, I ate something before <laughs> Um, so, the thing is, is that, yeah, and they're going off on that now because, um, I, I did it on purpose, by the way. They all acted like they were better than me. They treated me like garbage. They destroyed my life and treated me like I was nothing. They destroyed my life and my family as though my family was nothing. Okay? And they all did it. Alright? And if I spoke and shared humbly... And I would only, it only be a few sentences. Only a few sentences and I would just like serve it. Like a, like a waitress at a table. Okay? And you are the guest. This is exactly how I presented everything. Okay? And I simply serve it. Right? So, um, yeah, it's really terrible that I actually have to resist, um, saying the word serve the word. Um, that wants to come to me like spiritually but unfortunately this guy used it for his email address who was the cult leader and it's really terrible because like I come across that in speech where I almost say that um and it's really terrible it's real I, I mean I it's just like I want to just say like forget about it like I like so what you know, but, I mean, they're copying my words and all this, and I don't want to just, there and we're going to cross language and say, that, you know, some things that are the same or whatever, but they deliberately say things. They deliberately copy me and do all these things just to be arrogant and then just sit there and just uh, play all these games and they're abusive or whatever. And they sit there and claim if I get, like, you know, speak against their very vile, vulgar, nasty, disgusting, like, evil or whatever, I'm abusive. No, I'm not. I, I'm sorry, I'm describing your evil. I'm not practicing it. Sorry. But they're they're on this trip about uh, being better. So, I, so of course, they always want to attack. This is the thing. They always want to attack me. And they, it's in there always looking for something wrong about me. Right? I'm hoping to like, oh my gosh, I just want to sit there. Can I listen to somebody that basically says something that's basically godly? You know, and if there's a few sentences in there, they always have an ill motive for everything. Okay? So, the thing is, is that, um, uh, I probably should cut this off, but, um, there's, like, so much. There's so much. There's so much. But, um, I actually wanted to do the video and talk about the battle. I did, I, I made another account on YouTube, talk about the battle, but... You know, I don't know. I, I'm afraid my videos are just going to be hacked again. My other computers, uh, uh, me, my other computers, my other videos were hacked. Uh, the Vinyl Police Department and these, these cults in this circle, there are people hacking my computer. They're editing my videos, been doing it for years. They destroyed a lot of important work that was actually, like, had, like, strong knowledge and detail about many, many things. And they edited the videos. They did it in my uh, on Facebook. Okay, um, where I was basically speaking against them. They were using a forged Bible. And it basically, uh, in forged Bible, falsely claiming that Mary Magdalene support, financially supported Jesus' ministry. That is a lie. That's another thing that they're saying. I should, I should do, jump to another video and, just, and, and talk about that. Um, but I specifically said, no, Jesus, Mary Magdalene did not financially support Jesus' ministry. I specifically said that. And it, the word financially has been edited out of my video on Facebook. 
So, um, they keep doing this. And they're basically altering my words. Even in writings or whatever. Vana Police are basically, whatever I write on the Vana Police page, they have, they're having these ministers that I spoke against them. They're having these ministers copy or whatever, acting like they're speaking them against me and claiming them for themselves that it is against them and cannot describe me whatsoever. But they still sit there and speak against themselves. So, and then they act like I'm speaking against myself if I speak against them abusing it or whatever. I'm speaking against myself, sorry. So they keep manipulating a certain thing and they want me to be as evil as they are. So, yeah, I am better than you, by the way. And so they're claiming, they claim, they're trying to claim this whole compassion thing and acting like, you know, oh, nobody's better than the other. You're arrogant and prideful because I spoke against them being arrogant and prideful. No, I am not arrogant and prideful. You cannot descriptively, in detail, sit there and claim anything about me being arrogant and prideful. Yes, I'm above and more important and better than the child rapists and their supporters. That is right. That is correct. I will not change that. Yes, I am better than the wicked. And those who can be, I suggest you be better than them. Be better than these churches. Be better than our corrupt, dirty, filthy government. And no, I'm not against government, and I never was. I teach a government book that is, oh, about the government and the people and the government of Israel. That is law. Yes, I'm a law teacher. Ugh. I just had an update of whatever. I'm going to end with this. I'm going to make another video. And, um... I have to make another video and a part two on this. Or whatever later. So, I'm going to end with that.